Hi everybody, this is a review for the eTrailer.com custom fit matte black finish class 3 2 inch trailer hitch receiver for my 2016 Subaru Forester XT. I chose this hitch receiver because it was super affordable at just over $100 with free shipping. It has a 3,500 pound towing capacity with 525 pounds of tongue weight, which is fine because all I really plan to do is to tow bikes on the back. I also chose to order from eTrailer.com because all of their products are super highly documented, and each product is associated with a detailed installation video which gave me the confidence to try and do this install myself. What I want to share with you today in this video is my experience doing this installation by myself with no vehicle lift and no special tools. It's definitely a little bit more challenging than the video on eTrailer.com makes it out to be. The first thing you have to do is to lower the exhaust so you can access the mounting holes for the hitch receiver. To do this, remove the five rubber exhaust hangers and support the exhaust in a lowered position. The next thing you have to do is to remove the exhaust heat shields that are secured by four 10 millimeter bolts. There's one of these shields above each muffler on each side of the vehicle, so you have to do this twice. Once you remove the heat shield, you'll reveal the three holes that serve as a mounting point for each side of the receiver. Pop out the three rubber grommets on each side to reveal the actual mounting holes for the hitch receiver. This step was a bit trickier than as depicted on the eTrailer.com video. Substantial force and finagling were required to get these rubber grommets out. All in all, not too bad at all. This next step is the one that worried me the most. You have to drill out the middle of the three mounting holes so that you can feed in the mounting hardware from the inside. I have a decent power drill, but I didn't have a step drill bit. So I jumped onto Amazon and found one for under $10, which seemed like it would do the trick. Now this part wasn't actually that bad, but I highly recommend wearing gloves, a long sleeve shirt, and safety glasses because these metal shavings got hot. And when you're lying on your back drilling out these holes, these metal shavings are falling directly on top of you. It was also recommended to spray some clear coat on the exposed metal where you just drilled to avoid rust. The hitch receiver came with all the required hardware to mount it, which was really nice. The next step was to feed the bolts and the plates by using the fish wire technique for the outer two mounting holes and the reverse pull fish wire technique for the middle hole. You want to be really careful during this step because if you lose either the bolt or the mounting plate inside of the frame channel on your vehicle, you're going to have a really hard time getting them out. It definitely takes some finagling and finesse, but be patient and don't pull too hard because if you pull too hard and rip the fish wire out, you'll leave the hardware inside and you won't be able to get to it. By far the most challenging part of this install was doing it by yourself without a lift. eTrailer.com claims that this hitch weighs about 30 pounds, but I'm convinced it weighs more, and it's in an awkward shape as well. So lifting it into place, precisely lining up the holes was a bit of a challenge. I used a combination of wood blocks and a jack and incrementally raised each side until I could line up the holes and get one of the nuts started on each side. Another big challenge was getting enough leverage to apply the 110 foot-pounds of torque required for all six bolts. In the end, I was able to follow all the steps and complete this install in an afternoon. If you take a look at the instruction sheet that came with the hitch, it's very detailed. But it definitely took me longer than the advertised 60 minutes for a novice install. I think a second set of hands would substantially reduce the install time. Overall, I highly recommend this hitch. Even though the installation was a little more challenging than the eTrailer.com video made it out to be, the $100 price point is a fraction of what you would pay for a third party to install a similar product.
That's it for today. I hope this video was helpful.